everybody, my name is Tina and this is 20 day awesome web challenge and we are already in 19th day It's running so fast and it's actually making me a little sad Anyway, uh, let's stick to the plan make it happen. We are almost in the end So make sure that these last two days will count and today we'll be looking actually more into our lead magnets you will find out what it is, how you can use it for your business, uh, how, do you, how you can establish it. So let's check it out. Why is lead magnet important for your business? Well, it can actually bring you a new potential customers, like the hot ones, let's say. So it could be very nice and good help from the marketing or sales point of view. So let's see how you can do it. According to the uh, Rain Group and HubSpot and their data research, uh, they're saying that basically you need approximately around eight, uh, eight contacts, eight, eight touches with your potential customer before you will make a deal. So the lead magnet could be actually one of them. And it's a nice, interesting way where you are offering some content for free. On the other side, a lot of companies are just giving up after a few first touches and few, I mean like one, two or three touches. And you heard what I just said. And usually it takes around eight touches. Another thing is that the huge increase is happening after the fifth touch. So make sure in your sales process, and now I'm talking generally, uh, you are making enough touches with your potential client. And once again, the uh, magnet lead could be one of them. What is lead magnet? Well, lead magnet is actually some encouragement for your potential customers to give you their email address or some contact information which you can use to contact them later on in, in exchange for some added value for them, for some ebook or for some know-how, for some videos or whatever, something like this. This all could be a lead magnet. Your task today actually will be to think what could be valuable for your potential customers what kind of content they need or they will want. So there are two parts within the lead magnet. One part is to create an awesome content which you can offer to your potential customers. And the second part is to work with the emails you will get and reward for this content. One thing is to actually collect the emails and second thing is actually to start to work with them because they are not going to sell themselves just like this right but we will be actually talking about this in a video tomorrow when we will be talking about the email automation so stay tuned for tomorrow also so what could be the lead magnet there are a lot of varieties actually some of them are uh, more traditional like an ebook for free of your know-how or something like this or it could be something like a discount for your e-shop or a trial version for uh, some su subscription for free for some time or it could be some free consultation or you can send your potential customers free samples uh, of course it could be the videos or free credits for your services or last but not least, it could be a free entrance to some VIP club or group or uh, some special group on social media such as Facebook or LinkedIn. So these all could be a lead magnets where you can exchange this know-how or special things of, in exchange for an email address or some contact information of your potential customers. what you can actually get from uh, your potential customers in exchange for your know-how or for your content well the easiest way the easiest thing is to actually get just their email address 
Most of the people are not afraid and they will just put their, their email address. But on the other hand, you can even get them more information. You can get their name, first name, last name. You can even get their phone number or their address or something like this. But you need to take into the consideration that if you want more information from your potential customers, there is a less probability that they will fill it in. On the other hand, if they will fill it in, even with their phone number or with their address or whatever, you can see that these contacts, these leads are super hot because they are very interested in your product. So now I believe that you know all you need to write now about the lead magnet. And take these 20 to 30 minutes right now to think what could be your lead magnet. What could be the information you can provide to your potential customers, how you can do it. And let me know how, I, how you did right below in the comments. I'm keen on to find out uh, what you created, maybe. And I will see you tomorrow in the last video, actually. So have a nice rest of the day and see you tomorrow in the last day already.